Mmm, I wonder if she got bit, you think? What happened, big girl? Bendy, go. It's her ankle, not her hoof, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's her ankle. Well, too, girl. You better get you some medicine. What, what happened? Did you kick somebody? I swear, it is always something. These donkeys. No, this is not for you, sir. No, sir. You don't need any extra food. So what'd you, what are you giving her? She has three scoops of butte, which is an anti-inflammatory. It's a powder. I mixed it with this Omega oil, apple flavored oil that we have and some low starch horse feed. So it should help with the pain and swelling. Hopefully she just maybe was kicking at somebody and tweaked her ankle. Still protecting it for sure. It's definitely swollen between her hoof and her ankle joint. You weren't trying to get in the creep feeder, were you? You got tangled up, is that what happened? Mm-hmm, probably. You guys, you always got me on the ropes. And this medicine should last for, it's, you can either do a big dose once a day or split it twice a day. And I'm doing the big dose since it's so late in the day. I won't have time to do it two times today. So it should kick in a couple hours. Come on. You're going to have to hobble along. We got to get you guys out of here. Come on. Come on, BB. Come on, BB. Okay, you two. Come on. Pays, get out of the creep feeder. Limbo your way back out of there. Come on. You guys are going back in your old pen. Come on. Come on. They don't know it, but I got a bag of t-shirts. It's not feed. But Oh, come on, Annie. Now, come on, Annie. You don't speak English. You don't know that, what I just said. Come on. <whistles> Paisley. Oh, my goodness. Donkeys can founder easy, and they do not need extra food. They need to move and eat sparingly. <sighs> Come on, Annie Banani. So we are on our way back home from church. It was raining in town. Sorry, I'm trying to walk and hold my phone. Um, you know, Annie's foot ankle is swollen and she was limping darn it come on a little bit farther paisley's wide as a barn after being in that creep feeder what is in that is um feed creep it's called creep feed calf feed whatever um it's like 14 percent protein it's for the calves to get in there and then the mama cows can't fit in there and they can eat. But what happens is these guys are turkeys and they, Annie can't fit in there, but the too many donkeys do. And they don't need extra food. It's bad for them. This is usually where the donkeys are, but we had moved them out when we brought Missy and Maymay home, just so Missy and Maymay could have their own area and kind of get acclimated to our place. And they've been here for, let's see, Today's Sunday. 
we got them Wednesday. So and they're doing fine. We're gonna go ahead and just put the donkeys back in here. They can hang out with Missy and May May. Come on, Pace. Come on. Come on. Come on. Annie fell for my bag of t-shirts, but these two are more skeptical. They're like, why do we need treats? Because we were standing in the creep feeder eating away. Come on. Come on. Oh, goodness. They're a mess. Come on. Get all the way in. All the way in, guys. No, sir. No, sir. Don't come running at me. Get going in, Pace. Go. Move up. Move up. Move up. Let's watch your booty. Okay. No more creep feeder. Ugh. Paisley. Paisley has a metabolic issue and is extremely obese. And she has been this way the entire time we've owned her and is very unhealthy. We try to make sure she's not overdoing it on hay and she doesn't get any extra feed, but then this happens. Hold on. Had to latch the gate. So if you're wondering about Paisley, yes, she has that thick, crusty neck. It's not healthy. She's been that way ever since we've owned her and now she's on an actual medication that maybe will help, we're hoping. Okay, good job guys. I got Annie's food with some medicine for her ankle. Oh, then here they come. There they come. They know that we're the food givers. We're gonna try something a little different. We've been feeding them over here by the this side of the horse barn, and they like to lay under this overhang in the shade by the water tank. But the pond is actually on the back side. And it's they know it's there because we saw them back there. But we want we're gonna feed them over by the pond. Come on, Missy. Come on, girls. Although it's a lot cooler today. It's pretty muggy right now because it's getting ready to rain, but Come on, baby. definitely starting to cool off. Come on, girls. Come on. I threw them a watermelon yesterday. I wasn't sure if they would like that. They didn't. Come on, girls. You wanna shake the cubes a little? Come on. They're like, wait, where are you going? You've been feeding me over there. So this little pen that they have been in, it's a couple acres. They're going to... Temporary. Be, yeah, for now. We don't want to bombard them with the whole gang of highlands, our fold. Give them some time here getting to know us. I built this little pond here last what last spring I think. when did you build that I think it's not this past spring but the spring before okay you did this pond all by yourself with your skid steer yeah and it is a deep little pond yeah so there's an island that's a boulder right on the other side of those cattails that's about four and a half foot tall wow so yeah it is deep but down here, it just kind of eases in for them to walk in. Yeah. Yeah, this is the shallow. If they want to get in, and when our other cows are in here, this is where they get in. The pond dam is too deep, and it's deep all the way around there. So, and then this is pretty rocky here. Mm -hmm. But they can get in over here. And we have, the pond is down because it's been so dry and hot. Because um, those rocks are usually underwater. It's kind of like a fish habitat. They're not very trusting yet, but we'll get there. Yeah. I'll back off. None of our highlands are what you call pets. Probably the only cow that we have that is a pet is Ginger, and she was our bottle baby. Yeah, the next closest would, or I should say, of the adults, Mac is probably the closest to a pet. Our older bull. We like to use cattle cubes. A lot of our cows 
will just eat it out of our hands. Some of them don't, and that's fine, but whew, I'm kind of glistening. It's, it's sprinkling, muggy. and it's very muggy right now. Um, and I have good thick clothes on from church, so I'm sweating. But this is at the back of our property, um, the back corner behind our horse barn. So we got our horse barn here where in the wintertime we'll put the donkeys and the camels when the weather's real bad. That is our shop. And then our house. And then our house. So, beyond. and then this is our property, the very back corner, one of our corners. Yeah. We have lots of corners <laughs> because we don't have a square property. Our property is strangely shaped and then we have a lot of pens one pen flows into the next pen which is nice for when you're moving cows yeah we so have one two three four five six seven eight at least nine different pens or paddocks yeah, yeah, a couple paddock. acres a piece probably yeah there's a tree area right now where the pigs and the sheep, and that's five acres. We've actually measured that on Google Earth, um, which is a cool function that we yeah. learned about, what, like a year ago? On Google Earth, you can go on there and drop pins on your property and drag it, and it'll tell you whatever, however you want to measure. Acres, feet. Yep. It's so cool. So if you didn't know that, check that out. We didn't know that. We were actually trying to measure our ponds to see how many acres our ponds were, and we figured that out. So it's been helpful when we're um, calculating for fencing. Well, well, we'll leave these girls be. Wanted to give you an update on the two new residents. They're going to get to meet the donkeys. Yeah. Uh, and we will slowly work in the other residents here. Very soon. Over the next week or so. They're doing good, though. We haven't caught them in the pond yet, but we wanted y'all to see um, the proximity of the pond from where they've been hanging out. And they're super sweet. We get the feed. They come right up. They're just, you know, they're not, we can't really pet on them. And that's actually kind of how most of our highlands are. And that's fine. We, we want them to be friendly but not in our lap because their horns are big and can be dangerous so it's the perfect perfect yep. mix last chore and then i think we're done is give annie her medicine for her ankle bye missy and may may bye girls see you later okay let's find these donkeys looks like Annie's hobbling her way here. Whew. And it is starting to rain. There's our garden where what's left of it. Everything's dying off. So the girls have this nice overhang, which is where they've been hanging out. And there's also a loafing shed out here that they can get in out of the rain and get some shade. Come here, Annie girl. You're hoofing it right along, but still swollen. Actually, her whole leg. Here, I'm gonna set that down. You work on that, sister. I'm gonna look at your leg. Yeah, it goes clear up, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Come get this view here. We got that whole hawk is swollen. Dang. No. Back, Cindy. Hmm. Last time she was lame, it was in a front, though, wasn't it? Well, she had abscesses in both of her front hooves. I, this, I don't believe, would be an abscess. I don't think it would cause swelling up in the hawk, but maybe. I don't know. She probably will keep her on this for a day or two and then get with Dr. Bill. Let's see what it could be. I mean, I feel like they kick at things. They went out with the cows and she is very food dominant. If anybody tries to eat what she's eating, she could have been at the lick tank. She could have been trying to get in the cattle creep. I don't know what she's been in, but she probably kicked at somebody and probably just jammed her ankle somehow. But yep. That's the way it is. That breeze feels so nice. Yeah, it does. Oh, Lord, let it rain hard as soon as we go inside.
<laughs> <laughs> well, let's go inside because it's starting to rain. Okay.